Did you know that storms from the sun can mess with your brain? Yes, I'm talking about geomagnetic storms, and they don't just disrupt satellites. They might even make you feel tired, weak, or emotionally off. Let's dive into this fascinating connection between space weather and your brain. So first, what are geomagnetic storms? These happen when the sun releases a massive burst of charged particles during events like solar flares. These particles collide with Earth's magnetic field, causing a disturbance. It's like shaking a snow globe, but instead of snowflakes, it's magnetic energy rippling through our planet systems. Now here's where it gets wild. Scientists have found that geomagnetic storms might influence the human brain. The nervous system, especially the brain, is super sensitive to changes in the environment, including magnetic fields. This study focused on how brain activity changes during strong geomagnetic storms. Researchers ran tests on 27 healthy women to see how their brain activity, measured by EEG, changed during these storms. They found some pretty surprising stuff. 1. People felt tired, weak, and even had mild headaches. 2. Brain waves shifted. Slower waves like theta and alpha became stronger. These waves usually show up when you're daydreaming or relaxed, but here they seem to disrupt focus and mood. 3. The right side of the brain, often linked to emotions, became extra active, possibly leading to more negative feelings during storms. So, why is this happening? The brain uses electrical signals to function, and geomagnetic storms can subtly interfere with these signals. Think of it like static on a radio, it's not going to break the radio, but it disrupts how clearly you hear the music. The scientists also noted that the hypothalamus, the brain area responsible for balancing hormones and emotions, might be affected too. You might be wondering, okay, but is this really a big deal? For most of us, probably not. But for people with conditions like epilepsy or emotional disorders, even small disruptions can make things worse. Knowing about these effects could help doctors prepare better treatments during periods of strong solar activity. So next time you hear about a solar storm, remember, it's not just about cool auroras or internet outages. It might be subtly messing with our brains. If you enjoyed learning about this cosmic connection, subscribe for more.